What's this day like for you to see Juan become a Division One head men's basketball coach? I feel like I'm really old. <laughs> no, he's. Uh, I've watched him since since he left, you know, the University of Maryland, and to succeed in the NBA like he did, uh, to really. I think he kind of needed a couple years after playing to really figure out what he wanted to do, like a lot of players do when they when they stop playing. It's especially Juan when you go all the way to the NBA. That's a long time to play, and all of a sudden that stops. There's there's no gradual thing there, and that's a tough thing sometimes to handle. I think Juan took him a couple years to really get straight what he wanted to do, but in his mind, I think for the last few years he's been a coach, you know, and that's what he wants to do, and he's got a great chance here at Coppin. What kind of coach do you think? Uh, well, he is because he has coached a little bit. And yeah. what you, type of coach do you think he will be here at Coppin? Well, I think he's got a great knowledge of the game. When you're six, two and a half, 170 pounds and playing in the NBA, you have to know the game. You can't get by on your physical ability alone. And I think Juan has you know, played for some great NBA coaches. Uh, and you de gradually develop your own way to coach. You don't want to coach like somebody else. You, you want to absorb whatever they could give you when, when you played for them, but now it's yours. And, and so I know when I got my first uh, head coaching job at American U, I was 32 years old. Juan, I think, is 37, 38 now. And so I had the experience of working with some really good coaches. You know, just you watch and you see things you like, and that gradually goes into the way you want to play. But I guarantee you one thing, Juan's teams will be aggressive on defense and they'll look to really push it on offense. And, you know, that's the style of play, I think, that not only fans like, but recruits like also. And that's, that's the key thing. Nowadays, especially in college basketball, you have to get the players that want to play for you, you know, that'll play your style and that type of thing. And I, I think that's, once kids see the way Juan wants to play, that's going to be a big factor in his recruiting. And last question for you. Gary Williams' phone going to be on, waiting for, uh, to give that advice to Juan Dixon? Well, I told him, I said, you can't call after 10 o'clock at night because I'm getting old now. I don't stay up as late. But, uh, of course, for one, anything. <laughs>